Hey guys, James with Jetty USA. I wanted to get with you today and talk to you a little bit about telemetry options uh, for your rotorcraft, whether it be multi-rotor or single rotor helicopters. A lot of questions come in about, hey, what can I add to measure battery? Or what can I add to get the temperature? How can I see my RPM? And we wanted to give you this quick guide to run you through it. Uh, whether you're working helicopter or multi-rotor, the first thing and the most important thing really that you're gonna run through is battery telemetry, and that includes your voltage, your amperage, and, and capacity, which we have the ability to give you. Uh, what we do typically in our machines, both of these two, and, and of course my machines at home, is we use the MUI sensor, and the MUI measures current, amper or amperage, voltage, and capacity. Uh, it comes from 30 amp all the way to 200. Really easy to wire in. It wires in between the battery and the ESC on the hot side or on the red wire lead. Gives you a, a heavy gauge wire to, to carry the amperage and measure capacity, and a small gauge wire to measure the voltage. Also gives you a lead to go back to your receiver to carry that telemetry back via your EX system. Uh, that can be used both in single rotor and multi rotor craft. Fits in a really small space, doesn't take a lot to install. Uh, really nice to use. The next thing we get a lot of requests on are temperature, and what we typically use is like our MT-125 or MT-300. Those are our temperature sensors. They use a thermal couple to measure temperature. Um, typically, if you're running a nitro machine, you can wrap that around the leads of the motor. Electric, you can actually wrap that around the motor mount down at the base of the motor and pick up temperature. <clears throat> what you wouldn't want to do is wrap that around the can, obviously, on an outrunner. Um, really simple to use. Two thermal couples plug into the main sensor. Sensor plugs into the receiver sends the data back to the radio. You can use that data to set alarms. Uh, you can also use it to trigger a condition where it lowers your RPM value when it hits a certain temperature. It's really nice. You can use that on either vehicle. Uh, on a multi-rotor, you could assign that, use that around the board. So if you were getting a, a hot condition on the boards, you could trigger a return to home. Uh, any of our sensors can be used to trigger telemetry controls on the radio. So if the alarm goes off, then this condition occurs and you can use that to activate just about anything on these. Uh, the next thing that we're going to look at is alt altitude. We have a couple of sensors which will do altitude. One of those is the MLT, uh, which we have here. That measures just peak altitude. Uh, doesn't give you any right, you know, cl uh, rate of climb, rate of descent, any of that stuff. Uh, but what that can be used for in either of these two vehicles is again to trigger an event. Now what we do in the helicopters, if you're flying a fly barless controller with a rescue built in, you can assign a hard deck in the helicopter to where if the helicopter goes below the hard deck, it activates the rescue feature on the fly barless controller. Uh, works like an automatic rescue. You can also do the same with the multi-rotors, activate your return to home if it drops below an altitude threshold. Or put it in a landing condition, drop the gear, uh, activate something on the craft, you understand what we're, we're trying to do. Uh, one of the other sensors that we have available is our GPS sensor. Uh, you can use that not in your multi-rotor to trigger your flight path or anything like that. You can use it as a secondary. If your OSD goes down, you lose contact with the multi-rotor. Return to home doesn't function. Radio will still log last known GPS and you can trace that vehicle back and go retrieve that vehicle. And helicopters, especially like the Speedfly guys, like to use the GPS to record their flight path so they can really get dialed in on those good long straight runs. And then the other sensor we wanted to share with you today is the MRPM. A lot of guys want to know what their head speed is. And in a 500 or larger size helicopter, where you're not exceeding the large high RPM threshold on the actual motor itself, you can use the MRPM AC, which wires into two poles of the three-pole motor uh, to pick up pulses and register RPM. You go into the software, you can assign it a gear ratio to match your helicopter, and it'll give you really solid RPM readings directly to the radio. That, of course, would work with a multi-rotor as well, only you'd need to assign four of the MRPM sensors uh, for a quad, six for a, for a hex, and so on. So just keep that in mind. Well, that's the basic telemetry for helicopter and multi-rotor use or helicopter and drone use. Um, if you have any questions on how to install these sensors, how to program these sensors, or, or how to make them work for you, definitely don't hesitate to reach out to us at sales at espreemodel.com, sales at JetUSA, and uh, we'll see you next time.